Okay, our last example uh, is, looks very complicated, seemingly impossible to solve. Well, we have to notice that, well, there are a bunch of e to the x's, and we know that the relationship between e to the x and its derivative is direct. It's, they're the same. Um, so what happens when we have an e to the negative x term? Well, we could use a mini chain rule here to just solve for this so we know in case we take one of these to be u. So if we come over here, we use a little u equals negative x, du equals negative dx, dx equals negative du. So then the integral of e to the negative x dx, we replace that with e to the u du, e to the u negative du, and we get negative e to the u plus c, which equals negative e to the, replace u with the original substitution, negative x plus c. So all that happens with the exponential term in this e to the negative x is that the derivative of it is brought down here. So all this becomes is negative e to the negative x. So we can use that when we apply another chain rule. Well, let's, what should we make u? Well, we're, we have a fraction here. So if we make the denominator into a u, that means if the top, the numerator cancels out, we're left with the one over u. Simple natural log integral. So let's see if that can work. So u in our, in our case is 2 e to the x plus e to the negative x. What du equals 2 e to the x plus negative e to the negative x, which we see is right here. So then du equals 2 e, well here's dx, 2 e x minus e to the negative x dx. Then we know that dx equals 1 over all of that, 2e to the x minus e to the negative x, du. So we have this substitution. Uh, let's apply that directly. Okay, so this equals 2e to the x minus e to the negative x over, well, u. And dx is 1 over 2 e to the x minus e to the negative x du. Well, of course, these two terms cancel out, which leaves us with the integral of 1 over u du. So the integral of 1 over u du is just ln of u plus c. And then when we substitute the u back in with this expression, it's 2 e to the x plus e to the negative x plus c. Another really complicated looking problem solved by realizing that when we choose the right u, all the other x terms should be eliminated. Otherwise, uh, we are using a wrong, uh, either a wrong method of solving this, or we're using a wrong uh, u substitution value. So keep in mind the big picture and what we're trying to solve the integral of the whole expression. Thanks for watching educator.com. We will see you in the next lesson.